Mauritius, a small island in the Indian Ocean, is known for its stunning beaches, lush forests, and vibrant culture. It was once home to a unique creature, the dodo, a bird that has captured the imagination of many. This flightless bird, larger than a turkey, lived peacefully on the island for centuries, undisturbed by predators. Its image, often depicted as plump and clumsy, has become synonymous with extinction, a symbol of lost species. The dodo was a fascinating creature with its own unique characteristics. It had grayish-blue feathers, a large beak, and small wings that were useless for flying. Despite its inability to fly, the dodo thrived in its environment. This gentle giant thrived in its island paradise until humans arrived, bringing with them unforeseen challenges. The arrival of Dutch sailors in the late 16th century marked a turning point in the dodo's fate, as they brought new predators and competition. Unafraid of humans, the dodos became easy prey for the sailors and the animals they brought with them, such as rats and pigs. The dodo's story is a stark reminder of the impact humans can have on fragile ecosystems, leading to irreversible changes. Its extinction serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of conservation and the need to protect our planet's biodiversity. We must learn from the past to safeguard the future. The extinction of the dodo is a tragic tale of human impact on a vulnerable species. Prior to the arrival of humans, the dodo had no natural predators and lived in harmony with its surroundings. However, the arrival of Dutch sailors brought with them invasive species like rats, pigs, and monkeys. These animals preyed on dodo eggs and competed for their food sources, decimating the dodo population. The dodo's inability to fly and its lack of fear towards humans made it an easy target for hunting. Within a century of human arrival, the dodo vanished from the face of the earth, becoming a symbol of extinction. The dodo's story highlights the devastating consequences of habitat destruction, invasive species, and overexploitation. It serves as a stark reminder of the need to protect endangered species and their habitats. For centuries, the dodo was considered lost forever, a poignant symbol of extinction. However, advancements in science, particularly in the field of genetics, have sparked hope for its revival. De-extinction, the process of bringing extinct species back to life, has become a tangible possibility. Scientists believe that by extracting genetic material from preserved dodo specimens, they can reconstruct its DNA. This genetic blueprint can then be used to create a dodo embryo, which can be implanted in a closely related species like a pigeon, to act as a surrogate mother. This process, while complex, holds the promise of bringing back the dodo from extinction. The successful revival of the dodo would mark a groundbreaking achievement in science and conservation. It would open up new possibilities for restoring lost ecosystems and understanding the intricacies of evolution. The revival of the dodo is not a solitary endeavor but a collaborative effort involving multiple scientific disciplines. Geneticists, paleontologists, and conservation biologists are working together to make this ambitious project a reality. Paleontologists play a crucial role in excavating and studying dodo fossils, providing valuable insights into its anatomy and physiology. These insights are essential for understanding the dodo's biology and guiding the de-extinction process. Geneticists are at the forefront of this endeavor, using cutting-edge technology to extract, sequence, and analyze ancient DNA from dodo remains. Their work involves piecing together the dodo's genetic code, which is crucial for recreating the bird. Conservation biologists bring their expertise in habitat restoration and species reintroduction to the table. Their knowledge is essential for ensuring that a revived dodo population can survive and thrive in the wild. Section 5. Ethical Considerations Navigating Uncharted Territory the prospect of bringing back extinct species while scientifically fascinating raises profound ethical considerations. This groundbreaking field, known as de-extinction, involves complex genetic techniques and cutting-edge technology. However, the excitement of scientific discovery must be balanced with a deep understanding of the potential consequences. Critics argue that de-extinction could divert resources from existing conservation efforts and pose risks to existing ecosystems. They worry that the focus on bringing back extinct species might overshadow the urgent need to protect the species that are currently endangered and struggling to survive. There are concerns about animal welfare, as the de-extinction process may involve using surrogate mothers and potentially creating animals that may face health challenges. 
the ethical treatment of these animals is paramount, and the long-term health and well-being of revived species must be carefully considered. The release of revived species into the wild could disrupt existing ecological balances. Introducing a species that has been absent for centuries could have unforeseen impacts on current wildlife and plant communities, potentially leading to new ecological challenges. Furthermore, some argue that de-extinction could create a false sense of security, diminishing the urgency to protect currently endangered species. If people believe that extinct species can simply be brought back, they may be less motivated to engage in critical conservation efforts for those species that are still with us. The ethical implications of manipulating life and death raise fundamental questions about humanity's role in the natural world. This debate touches on deep philosophical issues about our responsibilities and the limits of our technological reach. A careful and transparent ethical framework is essential for guiding de-extinction research and ensuring that it is conducted responsibly and with the best interests of both the revived species and the environment in mind. This framework must involve scientists, ethicists, conservationists, and the public to navigate these uncharted territories thoughtfully and ethically. Section 6. The Future of De-Extinction Possibilities and Concerns The successful revival of the dodo could pave the way for the de-extinction of other extinct species. Scientists are exploring the possibility of bringing back creatures like the woolly mammoth, the passenger pigeon, and even the Tasmanian tiger. However, de-extinction is a complex and resource-intensive process with no guarantee of success. The ecological and ethical implications of reintroducing extinct species into the wild require careful consideration. There are concerns about unintended consequences such as the potential for revived species to become invasive or spread diseases. The focus should remain on preventing extinctions in the first place through habitat conservation and sustainable practices. De-extinction, while promising, should be approached with caution and viewed as a potential tool in the conservation toolkit rather than a panacea for biodiversity loss. Section 7. Conservation Implications a new hope for endangered species? The revival of the dodo carries significant implications for conservation efforts. This remarkable achievement is not just about bringing back a single species, but it symbolizes a broader potential for reversing the damage humans have inflicted on the planet's biodiversity. It highlights the potential of advanced technologies to address biodiversity loss and restore ecosystems that have been impacted by human activities. These technologies, ranging from genetic engineering to habitat restoration, could be game-changers in our fight to save endangered species. By studying the dodo's genetics and biology, scientists can gain valuable insights into its ecological role and the factors that led to its extinction. This research can help us understand the delicate balance of ecosystems and the importance of each species within them. This knowledge can inform conservation strategies for other endangered species facing similar threats. By applying what we learn from the dodo, we can develop more effective methods to protect and preserve the biodiversity that remains. De-extinction could potentially offer a lifeline to species on the brink of extinction, providing a second chance for their survival. It opens up new possibilities for conservationists to reintroduce species that have been lost and restore ecological balance. However, it is crucial to prioritize habitat preservation and address the root causes of biodiversity loss. Without suitable habitats, even revived species would struggle to survive in the wild. While de-extinction holds promise, it should not overshadow the importance of protecting existing species and their habitats. Conservation efforts must be holistic, focusing on both preventing extinctions and creating environments where wildlife can thrive. Conservation efforts must focus on preventing extinctions rather than relying solely on reversing them. By combining innovative technologies with traditional conservation methods, we can create a sustainable future for all species. Section 8. Conclusion. The Dodo's Return. A Triumph of Science and a Challenge for Humanity. The potential revival of the Dodo represents a remarkable triumph of scientific ingenuity and a testament to humanity's ability to manipulate the building blocks of life. It opens up exciting possibilities for conservation and our understanding of the natural world. However, the dodo's return also presents us with a profound ethical challenge. We must carefully consider the implications of our actions and ensure that de-extinction efforts are guided by responsibility, transparency, and a deep respect for the delicate balance of nature. 
The Dodo story serves as a reminder of the fragility of ecosystems and the devastating consequences of human actions. As we stand on the cusp of this scientific breakthrough, we must proceed with caution, wisdom, and a commitment to protecting the biodiversity of our planet for generations to come.